everyone and welcome back to our American Dairy Farm. First week of June, we got our first crop cut and we are going to be raking it up. So the plan is with this field here is we are going to be putting this right into our fermenting silo. At least that is the plan anyway. And then the other hay field that we got, we are going to be getting some small squares out of that and round baling that as well. So let's get this raked up and then uh, we'll see you when we start putting in some chopper boxes. Alrighty, we got that all raked up. Now we're going to get the silage blower hooked up. So we can get that. We do have it in here. a little bit yet. I should want to connect that here. Air wall to do that. All right, let's pick up the header here. Now let's go hook on to a chopper box. which we do have kind of farther away right now. I'm gonna have to bring one over. I got it out here. You can see there, soybeans are doing really well. Besides the few spots I missed, but yeah, they're looking good. Corn's looking good. Owls are happy out there grazing. Winter's over. See, they knocked over a couple of them bales. They were sitting in that. Now they're on the ground. Huh. Yeah, we'll get hooked up to a chopper box here and then head over and start picking up them wind rolls that we got. Start filling our uh, silo. Alright, we got started here and looking good so far. And the other chopper box, someone's picking that up right now and bringing that over, so I don't have to worry about that. The 5830 is doing extremely well. And yeah, I did notice uh, when I was raking this that the spot was not cut. That's kind of disappointing. This part gets tricky here. It comes up and actually usually just mold us to keep it looking nice. So we're just going to turn and not worry about that. And it could put us in a pinch. And it looked like it did. There we go. Come on, get out of there. Okay. Looks like we're full already? No, nope, we ain't full yet, I was gonna say. Filling our second chopper box. Should we 
still getting in there, which we are. So we should be able to fill, I think, four, four or five chopper boxes is what we're going to average here on this field based off that full one. Which is pretty good. That'll put up a nuss silage that we can uh, still mix some corn silage with it and some hay, and then we'll be able to feed that to our dairy cows. If we absolutely have to, too, we could wrap some bales as well. Which I'm trying not to do that, but we could. We could rent a wrapper. Oh, I missed that, didn't I? Yeah, I don't know what happened here. This end, end roll here this looks pretty bad. So go through and pick that up. So yeah, it's going to get real interesting down below there because they're shorter rolls, so a lot of turning around there. We might just, we'll see how many we get from there and if I can justify being, uh, oh, we just filled up right now. So there we go already. Our second one. But if I can justify, uh, you know, if we got four or five of them, I think that's plenty, and then I'll just uh, bail the rest. So I'm going to unhook this and then uh, empty this. All right, we are just filling up the silo here. Just wanted to bring one of these chopper boxes up here and make sure everything is going good. Well, my hired hand is currently filling our other one. That would probably be close to being full by the time I get down there, and then I'll take over and he can bring that back. So just wanted to make sure everything was going good up here. The 806 is in high idle. Run the PTO on that blower. We got the PTO on our mayor chopper box going as well. We are filling it. Doing pretty good too. This is our third one so far, so doing really good. So yeah, we're gonna cut up to the farm from here after this windrow here. All that down there is going to be bailed based off tonnage on what we're getting and what we use for a year we should be fine with filling up. So this is our fourth chopper box here behind me. So we'll have that full. We'll have at least, I would say probably eight, maybe seven or eight total. And that'll be perfect for our operation here and that'll get us through. Especially we'll end up using more corn silage too in the winter, at least we did last year anyway. So we'll bail the rest up and uh, use them bales as well. So. All right, we're going to pick up our last chopper box of the day. We do have a little bit left here up top and then some scattered hay around there, but we're not going to worry about that. I'll pick that up with the baler when I come through because we are going to bale the rest. Um, we have quite a bit down there in the bottom part of the field as well. And well as cleaning up, like I said here, we'll get the baler out, we'll bale that. We might even end up wrapping them bales for silage for our beef cows. So I think that's the plan. Good change as everything usually does on the farm here. But we're gonna unload this. We have 180,000 liters of silage in there now. So it didn't take long to fill most of that silo up. And that'll get us through till next year, honestly. That's exactly what, we actually have a little bit more than we did last year. So we're going to get this unloaded and then uh, we're going to go check on and see all the 
corn is doing down there in that hay field that we planted. I'm kind of curious on how that looks. Get this unloaded. It does take quite a while. But I don't really want to walk away. I want to stay right here just in case. So I'll step back here when uh, we get this unloaded. Alright, we're going to put the 5830 away here. Clean it up, put it away. And we won't be needing this until our corn is ready to be chopped. We did use a little bit of diesel, so that... It was pretty much full when we got in there, so... Let's back her up in here. Yeah, and that's all we have left for straw as well. Oh, well, we have the Kubota loaded down right now, but... This is pretty much it. We emptied the wagon. And that'll be gone by the end of the week. So we're definitely going to be uh, waiting to get our oats harvested here, and then we'll get some straw out of that. Now it'll help out, so... We all have enough to get through, plus we have a couple round bales yet. We can get into if we have to. Back them up there. I'll show you the Kubota there. Got that loaded down. I'm going to get the baler ready as well here off camera. And I'm going to clean that up and I got to go through a couple things on that. But yeah, you can see the Kubota that's loaded. That'll be going in here. A couple bales will be going in this afternoon of chores. And then this is all we have left for small squares as far as hay. So we're going to actually, the other field that's cut, we're going to grab probably about a full wagon of small squares first. That'll only take like one roll. It won't take long to fill it up with the small squares. And then we'll round bale that as well. So that's the plan anyway. Because these are nice. We usually feed about three per milking. So, and we got a few more cows that we're going to be adding in here. Just because uh, they are ready to come in the barn. And other than that, let's go down. We'll hop in the 3500 there and we'll head down. I got to put that stuff away yet, but everything's done unloading. And uh, I wanted to go check out that cornfield that we planted in the hay. And you still see we actually got a good amount of round bales left here. So we're going to have to uh, look and see if we can get rid of them. Feed maybe a couple more. Kind of been doing light work with uh, the bales. We'll hop in here. And we'll head down there. Alright, let's go see what it looks like here. So the only concern I had was I thought maybe I should have got rid of the grass that was in here before I planted um, being as thrown right up with the corn which is expected um, with the roll cleaners there I guess I should have maybe sprayed it off or killed it or something because obviously I could even brush dog it off and cut it real low then planted um, but this is the first time doing this so now we know after this is out of here we're going to plow this field up and it'll be official dirt in here it won't be all grass and corn mixed so, it should be fine, being that we're chopping it, it shouldn't be an issue. But it's looking good. All the all the crops are looking really good. So, with that being said, I think we're going to wrap up the episode. I am just going to go hook up the baler, round baler and bale that corner piece down there. And then, that's pretty much it. Silage is done as far as, A, we got corn to do yet, which will be done here in a few months. Other than that, we'll catch you guys in the next one.